sketch that ladder up there. That's for somebody to jump off. Whip it like a NASCAR. I can see the time pass. Feel like I'm in high school. Fucking me in gym class. Me in a sports car. I pull up on her, tell her that we finna go far. But then everything hanging up in here is my work. Except the turn, print a turn. It's like I thought all this was cool and I want to, you know, just talk to you a little bit about everything. having a vessel. That could be him. I gotta pick this up. <laughs> this dude's fucked up. I hit this interview, is that what you're claiming? Well, no, I mean, you. what's your What's your favorite piece that you've made out of all these ones? Or your favorite piece in general that's not here? I have to say my favorite piece of art that I've ever created are those sculptures that are in my mom's living room with the TV heads. The one with the kid's arm sides behind its back. And it pretty much just symbolizes like that our future generations are just gonna might as well just have TVs on their heads and they don't need hands or feet because um, we don't the kids aren't interested in working they're not interested in working with their hands they're just interested in being involved with like technology like being on the computer being on YouTube watching TV so the idea of those statues that I made was like. The TV's taking over their brain, or, or technology's taking over their brain, and it, their hands are born. When they're born, their hands are just tied behind their backs so they can't use their hands because they don't need to use their hands anymore. They can just sit there and just watch technology. They live through technology. So that's my favorite piece. And a lot of my artwork, like my paintings and stuff, represent that in the same way. Like, you'll see a lot of he TV headed guys or like TV headed bottles. The, the media projects like alcohol, like it's so normal, it's so safe, it's so like, you know, drink me, drink me, like on the weekends, don't, don't free think, don't have time to do something else, just drink beer, because it takes up so much of people's times, and if you're not thinking, if you're just drinking or, or worried about the next bar or the next place to go to, like, you have no time to be disruptive to what they want because you're so engulfed in what the media wants. So like that's why I, I have TVs and like monster headed beer cans and stuff like that because I love drinking and, and I've struggled with drinking for a long time and, and every time I get away from alcohol it's like I feel like I can truly think and truly give back to society and then like when I get back into the bottle it's like that's where society wants me because I'm not being disruptive anymore so you're gonna see a lot of TVs and you're gonna see a lot of beer cans in my art because I feel like those are the two things that's just that our government or 
people higher up that are trying to control our population use to keep us in a box or keep us under control is through media and, and alcohol. So, I mean, that's what you're going to see a lot in my art. That's a mixed media piece. Yeah. Uh, this is just a regular canvas, oh. and it's the flag's painted behind it, and then this is a Mod Podge newspaper um, on top of that with spray paint on top of that, and then this is wood as well. So there's a lot of different things that go into that one, a lot of different layers. That one kind of just represents, like, the same idea I was just saying, like, the money, the power is just boof, zooming right at you from the TV. They're telling you what you want. You don't have any time to free think. Like, boof, what is on me is what you want. That painting up there is uh, making fun of the moon landing because I don't believe that we ever went to the moon. I don't believe that it's possible for humans to go to the moon and then come back because of the radiation barrier. I don't think you could live. That's just making fun of it. Like, nice costume, Frank. And he's saying, thanks, Eddie. They really wanted this to look real, and it does. Because this is a reminder to myself, and that's why it's above my office. It's, uh, you know, when I drink, I drink till I'm blacked out. I have a problem. You know, that's just me telling myself that. And you have a future. This day-to-day -day attitude is dangerous. So, I mean, that that's one of my favorite paintings there. And this one's a self-portrait of myself. And, uh, the, 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 the X's are pretty much like just symbolizing that like nobody can judge me like I already you know I am who I am the only person that's going to judge me or God or a higher power whether it's the idea of a God or the universe that's the only people that can judge me like the vibrations of the universe they're going to judge me they're going to run my path no one from the outside you know no 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 societal instruments are going to control me so that's that one this is what I think of America. This is what I think we're turning into as a race. You know, sitting down here, <clears throat> watching the TV, um, just drinking a beer. Like, that that's exactly what they want us to do. Like, bam, how relaxing does that look? You know, I'm just chilled back, sitting back, drinking a beer, watching a show or a movie. But, like, why, why spend so much time in front of that when you could be out there creating? I, I, I like to view myself as a creator, not like a user. I don't know. It's, my art's all fucked up, I would say. <laughs> like, my idea is, like, it's something that happens to me in my life. Like, I could go maybe a whole six months without painting or a whole six months without doing art, and then... All right. So what I was saying is I could go a whole six months maybe without doing an art piece, and then, bam, I see something happening in society or I see something happen in the news, and it's like, I need to portray that through my idea. So however I portray it, I, I paint it. Like, it's not necessarily that, like... I'm necessarily a painter, I just consider myself an artist in all aspects of life, like my stunts are art to me, like, you know, everything's art to me, so, that's that. I mean, you fucking fit? Wow. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. I'll come over there with you guys. To be continued. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the guy. What'd he say? He was, he was all about it. I was telling him what we were doing, and he's like, well, I gotta look that up. It was Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Drake. Oh, he's already on fire. He's already on fire. What happened here? Man, you know we do the shit all night. Hey, where's the yeah. fucking ceiling? Drop it, bang, I'm feeling Sprite. Hey, chopping, 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 chopping all night. Hey, stacking, 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 stacking all right, all right. Man, you know we do the shit all night. Hey, where's the fucking ceiling? Drop the bang, I'm feeling Sprite. Hey, chopping, 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 chopping all night. Hey, stacking, 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 stacking all right, all right. We rollin', we smokin', we chokin', I'm holdin' our money, I'm See what happens here. Hey, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it We grindin' all day and we grindin' all night 24-7, we never close We doin' some shit that you never know All right. Hey. Were you okay? Did I hit you with the firework? It was, it came like an inch for me, dude I swear, don't turn alive in that pond, touch me It was the spirit of the world no, like, What are you drinking, a LaCroix? No, Goyaki What's that? Herba mate. That's some hippie Carbon. shit. Yeah, pretty much. 